Hey, I'm Josh Peck, and I'm so excited to talk to you about season two of iCarly. Oh man, to be working with Miranda again is a dream. We're like actually friends, like real life friends, not just like, hey, how was your weekend as we pass each other at craft service and don't make eye contact. I just love her. It's surreal for me to see her now. I think she's 28 years old. I mean, I met her when she was eight. She's gonna get it now. <laughs> I just feel like her older brother, like still totally protective, so proud. Do me a favor and tell me if this hurts. Ow! <laughs> yeah, it hurts! Cool, thanks. Yeah, I remember when she was talking to me about doing the iCarly reboot, I told her like, well, when the right part comes along, I'd love to come and play and just sort of have fun for a couple episodes. And so I'm so glad that it got to be this part on this episode. I remember when we were making Drake and Josh, Jerry Trainer came in to play what would become Crazy Steve. I don't even know if he was crazy then, he was just Steve. You ain't my enchilada! You was so no! You ain't my enchilada! You was no no! You ain't my enchilada! I don't think anyone had expectations that it was gonna be anything more than like one episode. And he started screaming in my face. Someone is gonna be watching Ick! Glock, but and I! Well, somebody's gonna be an organ donor before their 17th birthday, Josh! Nickel! It just was so genius. He's always made me just crack up, so I, I couldn't feel more excited. He's usually not in a chicken costume. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, what the cluck? I just made that joke. Because it's really good. Yeah. <laughs> Funny how it didn't laugh either time. And Nathan, it's so great. You know, I, I never got the chance to work with him, obviously. He's actually directing this episode, too, and I remember when I heard that he was gonna direct the episode, I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna do whatever I want. And then as soon as Nathan got on set, I was like, oh, you know what you're doing. I'm ready to be taken seriously as an artist. Here we go. So directing while acting, particularly in an episode of iCarly, is a special challenge. There are a lot of moving pieces in many of our episodes, and this, I would say, is fairly safely one of the biggest ones that we ever did. Not only because we had a huge guest star in Josh Peck, which was its own intimidation for me because I literally grew up watching him on TV and he was like one of my comedy idols. Getting to not only work with him, but then direct him and be in charge of making those scenes work was very cool, but also very scary for me. Luckily, he's one of the nicest people on earth, so it was very, easy to, to work with him and very fun. Carly, ciao. Or as they say in Seattle, where I live now, hello. Oh my God, it's Paul. We sort of see Carly at a bit of sort of an existential crisis about where I Carly's at. Look at these comments. <laughs> Remember when I Carly was funny. It's like, words hurt. Milk, milk, lemonade, 69. So she has this idea to potentially bring back her old producer from Italy to come in and shake things up. Should we just shoot it on my phone? I've got a prototype of the 2023 Pear phone. It has like 11 cameras. <laughs> <laughs> just cat scan your brain, bro. <laughs> Nathan's character, Freddie, is totally against it. So basically the episode is Freddie and I just sort of jockeying for a position and it makes for uh, some pretty fun comedy. Carly, are you okay? I know you get claustrophobic. Yeah, bro, I know stuff about her. <laughs> Remember, I was her you in Italy, except better, because I like dope eating pasta. Don't you eat that pasta? Mm, here, have some, it's good. Don't, don't Trust it. me, it's real. I am full! I'm getting giggles over here. I, I break easily, some might call that being unprofessional, and they wouldn't be wrong but it's really hard for me to keep it together and my sort of sort of uh, sole purpose whenever I'm around Miranda is getting her to laugh. They are, as we used to say in Italy, dar sasista. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we graduated the same high school at like, in at different years, but we're like so aware of so many of the same things and sort of subtleties and memories. And so we'll just randomly bring up something about where we used to shoot iCarly and Drake and Josh or someone we used to work with. And the look of like recognition and, and we'll come across people's faces and, and it's just so fun. Now, my last idea, it's actually not great. It's amazing. <laughs> Would you guys mind if I just shake things up a little bit and throw out an amazing idea? No, Paul. I don't mind. I always sort of have a slight aversion to reboots, if I'm being honest, because like I feel that 
people marry themselves to the, the time in which they fall in love with a show and the characters. And I think like if something really works, there was some sort of like alchemy and lightning in a bottle. And, and it's really hard to recapture that magic. But for something like this show, I feel like they figured out a way to sort of age up the characters and to sort of bring this you know, iCarly into a new world with new stakes and new experience. And it wasn't trying to like reinvent what the show first was. It really matured in a way that was like funny and appropriate and still could appeal to like sort of the younger audience. But then people who are in their late 20s or early 30s who loved the show originally, I feel like they too can find something to really enjoy about it. What will fans be most excited for in the new season of iCarly? Just more hijinks really and antics and just like a healthy dose of tomfoolery. And I'm okay on it too. I'm fine. It begins. What begins? This is a partnership. Get ready for greatness, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit like and subscribe. I gotta get back to filming. I'll see you later.